Our former Alberta Premier Ralph Klein received a long overdue honor today. Klein was awarded the Order of Canada, the country's highest civilian order, at a ceremony in Calgary just moments ago. The 70-year-old now suffers from advanced dementia, so his family was there to accept the award on his behalf. Klein's legacy, though, still stands strong in Alberta. He served three consecutive terms as Calgary mayor before becoming Alberta's 12th Premier. He then led the Alberta PCs to four majority governments. Now, one of Klein's biggest accomplishments, though, was paying down Alberta's $23 billion debt. But today, the financial picture in the oil-rich province is very different, and some are wondering why Klein's no-debt ethic is a thing of the past. Kathy Mueller has more on the story. She joins us now live outside Old City Hall in Calgary, where the ceremony has, is underway, I imagine. No, actually, Sinead, the ceremony just wrapped up just a few moments ago. Actually, the governor general just exited about 15 minutes ago, and it was uh, from people that were inside. It was a very emotional ceremony for former Premier Ralph Klein, who, like you said in your introduction, Sinead, did a lot for this province, especially when it comes to the economic spin-offs of everything in terms of the oil and gas and how he used all of these spin-offs to to fund a lot of crucial projects around the province over. Uh, 1992 and to 2006 during his premiership so definitely lots of people showed up some family some friends his wife Colleen showed up as well uh, about 20 of them actually and some former colleagues as well showed up to show support for the former premium as you said in your introduction Seneha the picture the economic picture here in Alberta definitely has changed a lot uh, since the Redford Tories uh, took the reign a few months ago now we know that uh, just this past weekend uh, during their annual general meeting here in Calgary uh, the Tories announced that they would have to borrow some money in order to pay for some crucial infrastructure projects we're talking about some schools about some uh, also hospitals and clinics all throughout the province and that's going to cost a lot of money uh, to fund but uh, what uh, the Tories want to do at this point is to uh, fund this through some loans so definitely not the same picture of what uh, premier or former premier uh, Mr. Clark would have done so at at this point, what we know uh, is that uh, the ceremony has wrapped up. We did hear from some of former colleagues. They did, did a scrum with the reporters. Most of them uh, were very, very pleased with uh, the honor that was uh, bestowed upon him. Uh, very pleased saying that he is very deserving of this honor uh, from the Governor General. So it was a very emotional ceremony, like I said, and we'll have to wait and see exactly uh, what happens. But we did hear from the Redford uh, government, from um, Premier Redford herself, saying that she is congratulating him that he is a very deserving candidate for this award. We also heard from the official opposition Wild Rose Party, Danielle Smith, saying pretty much the same thing, that he had a huge impact on the economy here in Alberta. Let's remember back in 2004 when he held up this big sign saying paid in full, he had completely reduced the debt in Alberta of $3.7 billion. So he will definitely be remembered as a great premier here in Alberta. Yeah, and Kathy, if you can just stand by. In fact, we have have a clip from one of the men who stood by Ralph Klein's side for much of his political career, Rod Love, commenting after the ceremony. Let's take a listen. Surprised me. It's, uh, you could see that he'd surprised the Governor General. I don't think he's ever had anyone at an Order of Canada ceremony <laughs> open up a blazer and there's one of Ralph's old campaign <laughs> buttons in there. So it was uh, funny. Well, you know him and medals, he, he appreciated them, but... Uh, you know, how do you put it? His, he always felt his reward was public service. He appreciated the medals he got because of the sentiments behind the people who gave them. But you know, Ralph, it wasn't about the medals. It was about the people. Yeah, that is, uh, Kathy, of course, Rod Love, uh, Klein's former chief of staff. But I have to ask you, Kathy, is there any reaction there about how long it's taken for Klein to get this award? Yeah, definitely lots of reaction on that front, uh, Senea, because it took uh, quite some time for him to to get recognized after 20 years in the public uh, in the public eye, and now just now he's getting recognized. So definitely, uh, some people are are criticizing maybe that uh, Ottawa should have. Uh, paid nod or notice to uh, to Ralph Klein a little bit sooner but right now I guess people are celebrating today that he is finally getting this honor and a very overdue but very well deserved honor for Mr. Ralph Klein here. Yes absolutely well said. Thank you Kathy.
You're welcome. That is Kathy Mueller reporting live outside Old City Hall in Calgary. We also want your thoughts on this. In today's poll, we ask, is the current Alberta government abandoning former Premier Ralph Klein's legacy of balanced budgets and fiscal responsibility? You can log on to sunnewsnetwork.ca to let us know what you think.